Rod Albane has lost 124 pounds in 14 months, eating one meal a day. Thank you for being here today, uh, Rydell. Uh, why don't you take a minute just to introduce yourself, let everybody know who you are and what you do. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Rydell Bain, and um, I retired three years ago. So now I'm a full-time Uber and, uh, Uber and Lyft driver. That's what I do right now. All right. Awesome. And so why don't you give us a little rundown of uh, how you're finding success with weight loss? Like how much have you lost and how long has it taken? Okay. Um, I lost uh, 124 pounds and it took me about a year to lose the hundred. Then um, I lost 24 pounds the past few months. Um, I basically just, um, I didn't put a time limit on it and I just, I just did it and, and just, and um, I didn't want to put restrictions on it. Uh, through the holidays, I, I stayed with my one meal a day. I did that mostly, but I did most of it internet fa uh, intermittent fasting is what I did mostly. <laughs> And um, I stuck with that, and uh, it just worked for me. Um, the, uh, um, I started out February 6th is when I decided to. I woke up one morning, February 6th, 2019, and I walked in the bathroom, and I said, that's it. <laughs> and, and that's what it was. I didn't eat any sugar or any bread for six months. Oh, and wow. It was just cold turkey. And, um, wow. And I started doing um, intermittent fasting. And you know, I started with the you know, 16 and 8 and all that stuff. And uh, I've always done it anyway. I just never called it that. Right. And I've always been a big guy, mm -hmm. even at childhood. But I, I've always carried it pretty well. So people never really say anything about it because I was always a big guy. Even my doctors never believed how much I weighed when they saw me. Because I carried it well. My body can carry it, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, But I just got tired. I was 50 at the time. When I started, I'm 54 now. And mm -hmm. so um, I said, well, you know what? Time to get this weight off of me. And I think when you're losing weight, until you're ready to lose it, you're not going to lose it. Right. And so I was, I was tired of you know, going to big and tall stores, mm -hmm. you know, going places. I couldn't, I couldn't order stuff off the internet. I wasn't sure if it was going to fit and this and that. And so I said, you know what? This is it. I'm going ahead and get this done and over with. So, so that day that, you know, you just, you woke up, had anything like upset you the day before or was it just like you just woke up one day and said, that's well, it? Well, I got into with my doctor because I had, I have a regular doctor and then I had went to start going to another kind of doctor, another doctor. Mm -hmm. um, my wife's a teacher. So we started to go to a clinic, you know, through her teacher's job or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, and she kept trying to give me, um, high blood pressure medication, which my blood pressure wasn't high. And she kept saying, I think you may have diabetes. So I'm going to give you this. I said, well, no, you can't just think I have diabetes and give me medicine. She's one of those doctors that just want to give you medicine, you know. And I right. said, I said, I've never had a problem with any of that stuff. And so we got into it. I said, she said, well, I'm going to check and see. And I said, okay. And then I went home and I said, you know what? I shouldn't even be close to having this conversation. Right. So I went home. And I went to sleep. And I woke up the next morning, and I said, "You know what? I'm done with this weight thing. If I don't do it now, the older you get, the harder it is." Right. You know. So I just got up. I just started doing it. And see, for me, um, intermittent fasting is no big deal with me. I only ate mm -hmm. one meal a day half the time anyway, because my job was so intense. I used to, I used mm -hmm. to work for American Airlines, so my job I had was very stressful and everything. So I forget mm -hmm. to eat, eat one time a day, and um. But now I do it. I eat one time a day. Um, no restrictions. I eat what I want to eat. There's no, mm -hmm. um, what they say, um, cheat day. Because, <laughs> because I eat within that hour, hour and a half. Mm -hmm. I eat whatever I want to eat. But I don't snack during the day. I eat that mm -hmm. one time. Um, but now I do a lot of rowing. I row a lot. I, um, I think the rowing and the fasting was the key. Because mm -hmm. right. I don't, I'm not a runner, but I can row all day. Right. Know? Yeah. So I've been How, um, So on your uh, routine, like your daily routine, are you are you rowing every day? And if so, how much are you rowing? Um, I try to row three to four times a week, and I'm probably doing um, six thousand to seven thousand meters. So okay. that's about maybe five miles, four miles, I guess, something somewhere in there. Every other day, 
and I lift weights as well. Okay. And um, uh, and so I just started doing that. And um, doing Uber and Lyft, I can stop and do it anytime I want to because I have a lot of freedom mm -hmm. to do what I want right. to do. Right. And, um, so it it works it works for me, and um, I wear myself every day because I, I I do it every day so I can see, you know, because your weight goes up and down. Right. I, it's high today. I didn't drink enough water yesterday, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, I try to watch it that kind of way. And but what right. I discovered was uh, your body you can't lose weight in inches at the same time. I, from what I've been reading, it has to be one or the other. So sometimes <laughs> I go, man, I've been busting my tail and I haven't lost any weight. Then I go put on a shirt or a pair of pants. And I go like, whoa. So, <laughs> you know, so so you, you can't get hung up on that. And you know, it was a lifestyle change, not a diet. This, mm -hmm. this is a lifestyle change. So I wanted to do something that um, I could do the rest of my life without without thinking about it. You know, right. I, I, I've never been a calorie counter because it doesn't make sense to me. You know? <laughs> well, oh, I ate the hamburger, but did I have the cheese? The, the, the butter? <laughs> That's not me. You know, so um, it, it was it was very good for me. I found something that I wanted to do and I feel good and I, I, I stuck with it. And even today, um, it kind of slowed down. Like, I think my body, mm -hmm. I think what happens is when you lose so much weight, your body needs time to recuperate. Right. So, and so, and when, and when you're working out and losing weight, it slows the process too because your body's going through this transformation, you know, the muscle and all that other stuff, which, uh, which didn't bother me. And I think most of the time when people have a problem with losing weight, they get too focused on how fast it's taking or how long it's taking and just mm -hmm. relax. And just, if I lost one pound a month, I wish I, could, I would lose more, but it's I'm going down. So right. that's yeah, I had. If, they, if I lost one pound, I was happy. So do you have anything else you do every day? So you, you weigh every day. You're doing intermittent fasting every day, right? Mm -hmm. Is it? Oh, it's not OMAD every day. It's just some form of, form of intermittent fasting, or OMAD. OMAD every, now. Okay. Um, OMAD. I, I say OMAD every day. So what happens is when I get stuck, like I don't feel like I'm losing weight, I mix it up. I mm -hmm. eat. I eat regular one day, and then I go to sixteen and eight. It just depends on what mood I'm in. Like right, like, right. Like sometimes you would know this. If you don't eat enough the day before, you struggle the next day. Right, right, yeah. So what I do, instead of torturing myself, I eat. <laughs> I, say, well, I, catch up, I catch up tomorrow. Right, you know? yeah. Because stress is, in the first place, what caused me to eat in the first place. <laughs> right. Stress and boredom. So I don't need right. either one of those in my life. So you, you said you've always been kind of heavy, right? Like when you were a kid even. And so, uh, so it's always been... A bit of a challenge, huh? Mm hmm Yes. It's, okay. Since I was a kid, and then my, my mom would take me to the store, and we had to buy husky pants. I don't even remember that. Husky. I hated that. You know? Yeah. I, that was, that's way back. <laughs> you know, where's your husky section? <laughs> I hated that. <laughs> you know? Oh. Um, and I played so, football and everything else, but you know, mm -hmm. I, I'm in the best shape now that I've ever been in. You know, I've right. been in I, I hate running. But with this whole um, shutdown, mm -hmm. all the gym closed. Right. Up to running, you know. So I started doing that. I just want to stay active because right. I've come too far to fall back, you know. Right. And so I said, right. Believe me or not, people who tell you, "Oh, it was easy," they're lying to you because <laughs> it is not. Right. You know. I agree. <laughs> a lot of work. People go, "Oh, I lost 100 pounds of a piece of cake." It's lying because it's not. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so, you know. So, so and that what keeps me from pigging out on something because I said, ah, oh, mm -mm, I can't do that because I gotta. Right. I don't want to just creep back up. And right. after, another thing I did, I would buy clothes. Like I got rid of all my clothes. Mm -hmm. And then so what I did was I would only buy clothes that could be at my next level. Mm -hmm. So I may have only a pair of shorts and a shirt until I lose that next. X or whatever. So right. my clothes is like it may be like I was at a four X. So mm -hmm. three X clothes. Right. I, I fit them. So my goal was I can't keep buying clothes. I gotta get into these clothes. So I, I'll work harder and I get down to the three X. Then my three X, right. I will only buy two X clothes. Uh -huh. so now, right. I'm at I'm at I'm at I'm, I'm wearing one X now mm -hmm. and two X depending on what brand or whatever. 
but that's mm-hmm. that's fine with me, you know. But that's how that's how I did it, and um, and and it's, it's it works for me. And it's funny how people are. The people will ask you, "Why well, How did you lose the weight?" And I'll tell them, and they get angry with me. <laughs> I say, what you, you ask me how I lost the weight, not not what you can do. I said, "This is what I did." Well, you can't do that. You get sick. I said, well, I did do it. And I didn't get sick. <laughs> but people get mad at you when they ask you a question, how you did it. Well, you can't do that. That's not healthy. Well, I don't know. It worked for me. Yeah, right. So, it's better to be obese. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. You know. So, okay. It sounds like you've got just an awesome, positive mental attitude and everything. But is there anything that you still struggle with or any challenges you still face? Um. Yeah, um, you know, boredom and you know, stress, trying to eat when you're stressed. Um, but another thing that helped me out, I cut out a lot of television. Because mm-hmm. you sit down and watch TV, you click the remote control, you eat some chips. You know? <laughs> you right. Sit. So I cut out TV, which helped me out a lot because now I'm not watching TV, I got time to, to exercise or, right. or, or walk, just staying active. I remember one time you said, um, no, you just just walk around the house. Right. You know, I think it, I think one time you said that walk around the house is just, just staying active. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Uh, I used to count my steps. You know, <laughs> if I didn't roll this day, okay, I gotta get ten thousand steps in this day. Just doing right. something that that kept me going, motivated, and sitting down watching TV. Right. right. People say when because people say, well, I've been watched television. So I mean, you've been you've been eating too. I can guarantee. Right. Right, yeah. So all that stuff goes together for mm-hmm. me, you know, for me. Yeah. So, um, but the boredom, you know, sitting bored, you know, you mm-hmm. say, oh, the commercial comes on, you go open the pantry, oh, there was some mm-hmm. cookies, whatever. And, uh, and, and I selective eat, you know, because, for example, I, I don't eat a lot of sugar stuff. Mm-hmm. Or, or I do, if I'm say, to, say tomorrow we're having a, a get together, okay? So that means, I will save those calories for that cake I want. You know, mm-hmm. chips. I just move it around. Right, right. And so you I don't did, deny yourself anything. Uh, not anything. Because if I did right. eat it, a piece or whatever, so what? Right. I start over. I'll do it again tomorrow. I mean, it's, it's not the end of the world. And I think right. when you, people used to diet, they go, oh, I ate the hamburger. I'm done. <laughs> right. Dang. Just, so what? Just start over tomorrow. And I, I think that's the mentality that, that got me through this whole thing was, I, I'm going to do what I want to do. And people say, oh, Adele, you're going to struggle when the holiday season come up. No, I didn't. Right. I, so I stayed on my one meal a day. Now, mm-hmm. when, when my time came up, when that 24th hour or that 23rd hour came up, I had an hour, hour and a half to eat what I want to eat. I did. Right. <laughs> and I was going to through the holiday. Now, it wasn't as much before, but I lost right. And I wasn't deprived of anything. So people say, well, how do you eat that cake? You know, and losing weight. I said, because I'm saving all those calories all during the day. Mm-hmm. Said, There's no way I can eat all those calories in one sitting. I do that, and, and I'm happy. I mean, it, was, it worked for me, but people still tell you, oh, you can't do that. And think about this. One thing I would tell people is that don't listen to people who haven't done what you're trying to do. Right. You got yeah, good advice. Who are who are probably 20 pounds underweight. Gonna try to tell you how to lose weight, you know. Do you got somebody who's 500 pounds gonna tell you how to lose weight? No. Talk on, only talk to people who've done what you're trying to do. Right. And remember, right. it's yeah. your body. You know what you can do, you know. But first, until you got it in your head, it's not gonna work. No mm-hmm. matter what, what you try to do, if you're not ready, you're not gonna do it. I was ready. Like I said I woke up that morning, and, and I, I, I never forget the date, February 6th. I woke up and said. I looked in the mirror and I said, that's it. That's it. Now, yep. I'm, I'm done with this overweight stuff and all this other, I'm done with it. Mm-hmm. And I, mm-hmm. I, I, it, it took me 54 years, but hey, <laughs> you hey. Know. that's right. Yeah. Okay. So, what is one piece of advice you would give to somebody else? Maybe they're out there, they're just starting out trying to lose weight. What would you tell them? Um, be consistent and flexible. Mm-hmm. Have set your, set your goals. Let's be flexible how you get there. Mm-hmm. You know, I always use the analogy, you know, you're driving on the road and, you, and you're going to church or you're going to school, whatever, and there's a detour. You don't stop and go back home. You, <laughs> right. detour. you may have to go back 
but you're going to get back, you're going to get to your destination. So right. what if it took you a little bit longer to get there? Because right. you're the one worrying about it. No one else is worrying about it. It's you. Mm. So right. just be consistent and be flexible in what you do. And I think it'll work. But I think we're so hard on ourselves. You know, you say, oh, I had a piece of cake, that cookie. So now you're stressed, you're depressed, and you're eating again. No. <laughs> just say, hey, I ate that yesterday. Today, start back over. We're getting back on the horse. There you mm-hmm. go. And Excellent. That's all I, I can say to people. Just, just do that. Don't, don't be so hard on yourself. So do you have anything else about your journey you'd like to share? Um, no, I, I just think it, it was, you know, I still got 35 more pounds to lose. Um, and, but I'm, I'm in no hurry to lose it because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm working out and I'm, I'm dealing more with um, how I look than, than what I weigh. Right. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose more. If I, if I feel good and I say, okay, well, this is enough. But right. I think I want to get down to 200 pounds, just mm-hmm. to say I got down to 200 pounds. Right. I think at this point I've come this far. I want to say, yep, yeah, that's I, I made it. Right. And now I may go back up a little bit to be comfortable, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And um, and so but my, but my doctors and all those guys go, oh well, you know. You got to be careful, blah, blah, blah. But here's the thing. And I don't mean to be disrespectful to any doctors or nurses. Mm-hmm. But now one person in my doctor's office is underweight. They're all overweight. Every one of them. And not even a little <laughs> bit. They're way overweight. You know, they're, they're breathing all hard and sweating and everything. They're going to tell me how to lose weight. They haven't done it themselves. <laughs> right. So I just say, I'm not listening to those guys. And so I got on the internet, looked up, and, and, and studied my body, how the body, I studied how the body worked. Mm-hmm. One thing that I can leave people with is do not get over uh, too much information. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It would drive you nuts because now you're going like, oh, eat this, don't eat that, intermittent fasting. It would drive you nuts. Yeah. You're just eating. Just, <laughs> can you stress out again? So take what you take what you want, and, mm-hmm. and filter out the rest. Right. And and just do what's working for you. If it's working for you, do it. You know, because right. you could be. If I ate pizza every day and I lost ten pounds a month, it's working for me. Now right. a doctor may say, "Hey, it's not healthy," but it's working for me. So I right. thought I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah. Right. So right. You got to do what's good for you, really. You know, and and just right. and just stay with it. Even if mm-hmm. even if you got a small achievement, if you lost a half a pound last month, that's a half a pound you didn't gain. Right. So that was you yeah. got to you got to, got to have that mentality. You keep chugging along and chugging along. And eventually, it's, it's going to break. But you got to remember, for me, I didn't gain all this weight in two months. It mm-hmm. took years to gain this weight, and so right. that's why I didn't put a time limit on it. But with the intermittent fasting and the walking and the rowing, you started seeing changes in your body. Mm-hmm. But, but you got to change your bad habits. You can't mm-hmm. eat the ice cream. Every now and then, you can, but not every day. You just can't. Right. Right. Yeah. So, is, so if people would like to connect with you, uh, is there a way that you'd like them to do that? Yeah, I have a, they can call me, I think I'm a, well, I got an um, email, they can email me at okay. uh, um, CrossFit, X-L-I-T 200 at yahoo.com. And okay. they, can, they, can, they can email me and I can talk to them. I'm a life coach as well. And so, okay. uh, so you can tell I'm, just, I'm comfortable talking to people, <laughs> you know, so, right. and especially from the weight loss because I've done it. And mm-hmm. I think a lot of it is just you know, motivation, having somebody you can talk to who's not going right. to judge you, who's not going to judge you. Well, how did you get that right. big? Well, you don't want to hear that. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know. Um, but, yeah, um, anytime they, they, they want to send me an email, I email them back, you know, and, and uh, it's fine with me. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Rydell, for sharing your story. It was a lot of fun, and uh, just thanks for being here. Uh, no problem. Thank you for having this, this um, platform. So people can talk and everything. I like it. Really good. Yeah. Thank you for watching that video. I hope you found it helpful. 
Be sure to head on over to my website, sixmilestosuffer.com, for more information about intermittent fasting, walking, and sustainable weight loss.